Hello, my name is Austin Hopkins, and this is Upright Piano Info. Piano, from the Italian diminutive of piano equals soft, wonderful, and very popular in the world musical instrument, keyboard, from the chordophone family, constructed in 1811, a variation of the piano with vertically, strings attached to a pin piece usually made of high quality layer by layered glued wood. The sound is produced using the keys, 52 white and 36 black, which trigger the movement of wooden hammers, the heads of which are most often made of soft material, felt, leather, and these strike the strings, generating sound mainly thanks to the soundboard located on the back of the instrument, which is enhanced by more effective coupling of acoustic energy with air. A piano, depending on the manufacturer, consists of approximately 5.500-8.500 parts. Most of them contain the heart of the instrument, i.e. the piano mechanism. Specialists from the Callis Piano and Grand Piano Factory have drawn up a diagram that presents over 70 different types of elements such as beams, levers, strips, metal accessories, etc. Initially, the pianos had a wooden frame and a rectangular string arrangement, but with time the frame was replaced with a cast iron alloy and a cross, alternating variant of the arrangement of the string. Contemporary structures consisting 70% of wood, a skeleton, soundboard, keyboard, mechanism components. The production mainly includes spruce, alder, beech, maple, sycamore, yew walnut, and linden. Piano specification and basic piano information. How many parts does the piano consist of? The average model has 5,500 to 8,500 of them. How many keys does the piano have? A total of 88, including 62 white and 36 black. How many strings does a piano have? Around Moan 106 has 245 of them. How many octaves does a piano have? 7 and 1 slash 4 octaves. Subcontract, counter, major, small, once plotted, two plotted, three plotted, four plotted, and five plotted. How high is the piano? From 92 cum to 165 ecum. How wide is the piano? From 135 ecum to 160 ecum. How deep is the piano? From 50 ecum to 75 ecum. How much does a piano weigh? The weight ranges from 150 kg to 380 kg. Modern pianos are lighter. The weight of the older ones from the so-called the upper silencer is much larger. Of course, not including the concert models. What is the volume of the box? From 1.6 M3 to 2.2 M3. What is the total string tension? About 15-20 tons. What is the lid of the piano? Polish, veneer black, white, brown, mahogany, walnut, virtually any, colored or natural, varnished high gloss or matte. How is the piano transported? On slides, rollers or mushrooms. Which electronic or acoustic piano to choose? Many people have this dilemma when they start looking for the first instrument for themselves or their children. When it comes to a music store, it usually has to trust the seller, because most often it does not feel up to making a choice on its own. Meanwhile, the matter is simple. If you are looking for an instrument for intensive practice, always choose an acoustic piano or a piano. If you are not careful to play and you like to tap something sometimes, opt for light electronic keyboards. New or used acoustic piano, which to buy? Let us establish that there is no clarity in this matter, because there is an element of subjective assessment and stick the sensitivity of each individual person. Many believe that the instrument used is worn out and has lost most of its musical prowess, not to mention its appearance. For others, there is nothing like decent music room equipment with shiny varnish and hologram stickers. Due to this sensitivity, I will skip the price issues and focus on matching the instrument to the musician. You always have to rely on your sensitivity to contact with the keyboard, its dynamics, your own experience of listening to the timbre, tempos, and the response of damping and amplification. However, the determination of the abilities of the instrument itself belongs to a specialist, because there are things that even philosophers have not dreamed of, and a specialist equalizer tutor simply knows.
What we find in the music room is at best a ready-to-play instrument that will bear the debutant and grandmaster, but only after some time, and in its place will reveal its advantages and weaknesses. Almost everything will require correction and its scope may surprise you even when we are dealing with the best brands. Unfortunately, I encounter a situation where contemporary piano manufacturers resort to the more and more frequent use of plastic and sheet metal in places where good quality wood was used in the past. No wonder such instruments sound metallic. Unfortunately, in the year of cost reduction, the emphasis is on marketing, not quality. On the other hand, we have a secondary market with used instruments and thus individual pieces with an undefined past, but usually a clearly outlined history on all elements of both the casing and the interior. A question may be asked, is it worth becoming the owner of such an instrument even occasionally? Imagine a situation where a 100-year-old piano, formerly played intensively and decorating a living room, today unused and not tuned for about 20 years, stands and dusty in a corner piled high with unnecessary junk. It should be assumed that it is standing like this, because it is broken and at most you can play the Ramatka from the Western on it. Nothing could be more wrong, but the condition is that, if the condition of the structure of the instrument and its mechanism are still functional and do not show any significant losses, it should be assumed that, that it has stood the test of time and that you can invest in its renovation. There is one reason for saying that, but this particular copy of how many similar ones were built to last. Its designers and manufacturers put all the ambitions and achievements of their lives in it, to be proud of the awards and medals they have won at fairs or music competitions, and sometimes with the approval of kings, which resulted in gaining numerous recipients. Read more about the importance of humidity for the instrument. Pianino, XMC, PL to be proud of the awards and medals won at music fairs or competitions, and sometimes with the approval of kings, which resulted in gaining numerous recipients. Read more about the importance of humidity for the instrument. Pianistro Seal, PL to be proud of the awards and medals won at music fairs or competitions, and sometimes with the approval of kings, which resulted in gaining numerous recipients. Tuning in the humidity of the instrument environment. Water in my piano? Why do soundboard planks crack? Rusty and tarnished strings on my instrument? Well, there are many such questions, especially when we invite an experienced tuner too rarely, or when we decide to sell our instrument after many years of use. It also happens that for some reason we invite another tuner. We can then hear an opinion about the condition of our piano, which will surprise us. One of the most important tasks for owners of acoustic instruments may have missed our attention. Maintaining a stable humidity around the instrument. We ourselves often notice that our interiors are too dry, especially the tight and well-insulated ones. Then we moisten the bedroom, more often children's rooms, but we do not pay attention to our instrument. And there is a real competition between forces and matter. For example, the fact that our piano is made of various types of wood, steel, copper, cast iron, fabrics made of wool felt, cashmere, cotton, combined with casing and leather glues, should make us think that all these materials react to changes in humidity and temperature. Of course, anyone who says that in such a serious instrument the designers made sure that everything was of the best quality and ensured long work in short play and tune. Yes, but it was all under control in the factory and in the music salon, and what happens next is the concern of the new owner. However, the most common defect caused by excessive drying of the wood in an instrument is cracking of the soundboard, which directly leads to weaker acoustics and even to loss of resonance. It also affects the dysregulation of mechanics, the loosening of hammers, and even the deformation of the keys and the falling off of the linings. On the other hand, excess moisture can cause due to condense on the strings and cause rust and tarnish. In addition, excessive moisture, with the addition of dust and insects, will create mold and rot. What can sometimes be found in the interior of a piano makes its owner worried, to put it mildly. 
Therefore, I encourage all owners of instruments to buy a hygrometer, hygrometer and place it near the piano or piano at eye level, and after checking that the indication is in the range from 45% to 65%, breathe calmly, because it means that the instrument is fine. However, if the value read is less than 40% or greater than 70%, then we should be concerned and ask the tutor at the earliest opportunity how to stabilize the humidity. A frame B. Tuning pins A. The instrument's frame cannot be damaged, cracked, and what is usually forgotten. It should be firmly screwed to the wooden elements of the casing so that, after changes in tension, it forms one block with the casing. The floating of the frame in relation to the casing during tuning and changes in the ambient temperature causes changes in the tension of the strings and, as a result, weakens the tuning. Years after bolting the frame at the factory, these connections loosen and require technical intervention again. Loosen frame fastening is also a frequent cause of frame damage and cracks during tuning B. A dry and cracked pin block during changes in temperature and humidity is not able to hold the self unscrewing tuning pins. Unscrewing pins is a natural process. However, in a damaged and dry pin lock, this process is much faster. Tuning pins, which are loose in tuning seats and which are already corroded after many years, should be replaced with new ones with a slightly larger diameter so that they are able to maintain a constant static load on the string. Uh, two, in order to maintain the correctness of the costume as long as possible, it is important to ensure that the temperature and humidity in the room in which the instrument is placed is as constant as possible. Changes in these factors over time cause changes in the static pressure exerted by the walls of the tuning holes on the surface of the pins, and thus the tuning of individual strings is lowered. It is recommended that the instrument should be placed in a room free from drafts, direct sunlight falling on the instrument, and a large distance from heaters. It is recommended to use automatic air humidifiers in these rooms. Three tuning technique is the most difficult issue, which depends only on the person who tunes the instrument. This is the most mysterious and mysterious skill that a tuner learns over many years of everyday practice. The stability of the tuning is achieved thanks to the correct tuning technique and is related to the temporary deformation of the tuning pin, its bending and twisting, as well as the phenomenon of tension of the string section between the tuning pin and the fret or a safety pin. This is called a voiceless stretch of string. If the tension of this section is greater or less than the tension of the voiced part of the string, then as the string vibrates more strongly, the force in both parts of the string will even out so as to finally achieve equilibrium. However, a change in the tension of the voiced part will also cause a slight change in pitch. When the key moves along each string, several circular movements, alternately left and right, the tuner must take into account all these physical phenomena in order to achieve the correct pitch, ending with the correct movement of the key so that the deformation of the pin as well as the relaxation of the entire string did not affect the stability of the tuning, so that the pitch of a given string could be considered constant over time. It is important to focus as reliably as possible on precise and stable unison tuning in the process of consolidating stability. The point is that they should be absolutely pure in terms of all audible components, out quads. It is essential that each string in a bicord or tricord has the same tension and that all parts of the string are in a state of balanced relaxation. Should the unison be slightly open? Perhaps when we tune one day before the concert for a richer sound, however, in everyday practice, we strive to obtain the cleanest possible unisons because they are more stable. Produced by XMC System Thomas Mikulowski. Special thanks to Polish TV Pulse. Thanks for watching and subscribing to the channel.